Hello, everyone. It's Phil Jones from Projector Reviews. And joining me is Andreas Gomez from Exgemi um, Projector. Before we get started, we'd like to thank AV Pro Edge and Meridio for sponsoring this year's Spring Projection Showcase, where we get to talk to some of the leading projector manufacturers. Andreas, how are you? All good, Philip. Thanks for having me. How are you doing? Good. And where are you located today? I am in Shenzhen, China right now. Uh, in uh, our branch office in the yeah in the south of China. Yes. So it's the evening for me and the morning for Andreas. So we're here to talk about Xjimi, and they make a really cool lineup of portable LED-based smart projectors. And we want to talk to him and go over one of their cool models we're currently reviewing, as well as some new models that they are about to introduce. So, Andreas, for those people who are not familiar with Xjimi, could you kind of give us a background of the company, please? Of course, of course. So, Xjimi is quite a young company in the in the projector market. We we started in 2012. It actually started in in somebody's bedroom. And and it took from them our our CEO is is you could call it our first product manager, very focused in in customer experience in in product development. So it just started to take a, a very big leap into what it means to use a projector in your home. So from the very beginning, the company Xjimi started uh, developing products that were gonna be used at home. All the developments uh, since since the inception of the company has been uh, going towards uh, how the projectors are used in a home environment, how people use it as home theaters, or how a projector can replace a TV at, at one point. So um, we, we took a, a different approach uh, since then. Uh, in 2013, we introduced the first product. Uh, it was a big hit in China. Uh, mm -hmm. Then in 2015, we did uh, a second uh, product that was one of the thinnest, uh, mm -hmm. smallest DLP projectors that they were in the market at the, at the time. I think it's uh, still one of, the, one of the thinnest for the brightness and, and the resolution. And it was a huge hit. It's uh, still selling up until now. And it's, uh, it's, it's something that cannot propel us into the, into into the big names at the point that right now we are the largest uh, brand by sales and uh, shipping units in china all uh, in the same premises that we that we've been working since the beginning which is uh take the projector usage in from the home a uh, consumer we basically don't start with an office projector and just transform it into a home a projector. We just start from zero uh, and build the projector from from scratch for the for the home user. And, and you made a big point there that I that I was waiting for you to, to talk about. A lot of companies make a projector and there's a, there's a, they have an idea of what the form factor should be like because yeah. every projector looks like that because yeah. they make them for the office, they make them for education, and they make them exactly. for home. And yeah. um, and you guys took a different uh, approach when it comes to the design and what should be in a projector and how should it all be laid out. And yeah. it's been, like you said, incredibly popular, um, especially in, in Asia. And and you've won a lot of awards for the design, whether, it, whether it's a Red Dot Award, CES Awards, Good Design Awards, a lot of awards on, on that form factor along with the capabilities. Yeah, so so now that you mentioned the awards, yeah, we have uh, up until now 31 awards. Uh, mm -hmm. I think we are on the way to get the the 32nd some somewhere between this and next month. So mm -hmm. uh, it's it's been because we are bringing, as you mentioned, we are bringing a, a refreshing view into a category that's been kind of boring for for um, for a while now in terms of design. So mm -hmm. you see all the same kind of square boxes or, or with a white plastic finish. Uh, but we are doing a lot of aluminum finish with meshings, with um, a space gray color. So, so bring a little bit of, mm -hmm. of life to this product because this is something that at the end, if you are going to use it at home, that's, mm -hmm. that's from, from our, our main uh, idea comes from it, that if you are going to use it at home, these uh, projectors need to match with your furniture and with your home. Just basically mm -hmm. 
just starting from there. So that's uh, that's something that that we care about a lot. Jimmy reached out to me about doing uh, project reviews, about doing a review on a couple of their models. And so I started looking at some of the models and I and I was like, wow, these are really, really cool. Um, so the one that we're actually getting ready, we're reviewing right now is the um, the Halo, the Xgmi Halo, which yeah. is has a lot of really, really, really cool features on it. It is one of the brightest portable smart projectors. So it's super bright, bright enough to utilize on a larger screen and it's battery powered. So the flexibility there is is really good. And as you can see, the form factor, it, it has a different form factor. They just said that the projector doesn't have to look like the normal projector. So, yeah. so let's talk a little bit about the Halo. So a lot of the yeah. cool things you'll see in this projector, as you go down, you may not get the brightness or the resolution. As you go up, you may get a better sound system or more resolution. But this is kind of right in the middle of the lineup. So it's a, um, a 1080p projector, and that's enough for a lot of large screens, especially when yeah. using it in a portable application. Yeah, that's right. So uh, the Halo is, is so far the most powerful portable projector that is in the market right now. So mm -hmm. it's basically, um, and, and we and we say that with with a lot of confidence, given the the whole future that that it comes with. It uh, gives up to 800 uh, lumens, ANSI lumens in mm -hmm. brightness. So this is something that beats everything else that's in the market. All of our projections work with LED uh, LED lighting chipsets, and mm -hmm. This, this allows us to make the projector much more versatile than 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 anything else. Uh, apart from the brightness, which is which is impressive for being a portable projector, is mm -hmm. of course uh, is of course portable. So it mm -hmm. comes with um, with a battery that gives a uh, 59 uh, watts per hour uh, uh, power. So this mm -hmm. is something that you could take out in a camping trip and then use it uh, to watch a full movie. Or mm -hmm. or anything from the uh, from the style. Yeah. Well, as I mentioned, we we work uh, with LED lighting with DLP uh, DLP mm -hmm. technology. So mm -hmm. a, a projector like this, you wouldn't have to change a bulb. This it gives thirty thousand hours of mm -hmm. uh, of lifespan for the for mm -hmm. the LED. So it's mm -hmm. uh, it's pretty much something that you're gonna use for years without having to think about any kind of um, after after cell service or, or anything like this. So I was looking at this projector when I first saw it, and I could see a lot of use cases for it. Um, as he mentioned, it's it, it's it's going to give you a much larger picture than what yeah. um, than an LCD TV. Number two, it's yeah. far more portable. So for yeah. someone that li it's living in a dorm, that lives um, in an apartment, that would like to utilize a large screen um, in multiple areas in their home. And one thing that is really popular right now in the U.S. is outdoor theater. Being able to take a, a system outdoors and, and watch it out in the backyard, in the in the patio, maybe at the beach, and things like that. So the fact that it's battery powered makes for makes it really really cool because now you can literally, like you said, take it camping, take it out to the beach with a with a screen and and utilize it now of course we know with batteries if you're running it in its brightest mode with the volume cranked up and playing with all of the smart apps you probably aren't going to get four hours but even if you have all that stuff going you can easily watch um, a feature film a full-length feature film on the particular system one thing that stood out to me was the was the fact that it has eight hours of uh, of life when you play music and there's another thing that you can utilize it for as well, which is a as a uh, basically a Bluetooth speaker. So can you talk a little bit about that? As part of the XGME development and, and and for all the projectors that we have been developing through the years, we use Harman Kardon speakers for all of our products. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is a very important partnership for us because it it gives us the opportunity to get professional audio into projectors. So usually projectors are not characterized to be to have a good audio, like building audio. But for us, it's important that we make products that are an all-in-one machine, basically. So mm -hmm. Harman Kardon, the guys at Harman Kardon has been they have been really helpful in this. They not just supply the Harman Kardon speakers for us, but they also do the tuning for the for the mm -hmm. audio. So this, uh, especially for the Halo, this is something that you could take for a for a small party of friends, and then mm -hmm. if you just want to listen listen music in your house, it's it works as a as a perfect speaker for for this matter. Also, it's smart. 
So if you look at it, it's kind of a mini TV replacement. You may have an apartment or another place. You're looking for a large screen. Of course, a TV has sound. This has yeah. better sound than most TVs. We always say flat TVs have flat sound. So this yeah. probably this is going to sound better than most TVs by far. Um, you're going to have a larger picture. It's portable. But one thing that everybody's when they buy a flat TV, a, a regular flat panel, is they want that device to be smart. So just using yeah. it as smart as well, right? Yeah. So so all, all our devices they come powered by Android TV. So we have um, we are one of the few uh, projector manufacturers that right now comes with the official license. Android TV. That means we get updates and we get the latest features from Google. We are we are solving in this uh, with, with Android TV the the issue with the user interface that actually works in the way that we are using a screens right now. So we are all using mobile phones, our laptops, our la our uh, tablets. This is all all connected to an account or another, and you want to start to watch. A YouTube video in your phone, and then you arrive home mm -hmm. and you just turn on your projector and you want to finish there. So mm -hmm. it, all of this is with the idea that yes, you you could actually use this projector as your as your main screen. This is especially true as you just mentioned. If you are living in a in a big city, mm -hmm. if you have a, if you live in an apartment, difficult to have a TV in each in each of the rooms, even if you live in a house. But but if you started watching something in the living room and now you want to move to your room, you just move the projector with you and then just mm -hmm. face it anything you anywhere you want. If you want to watch it on the on the roof, uh, just mm -hmm. watching just mirroring to a roof or, or to any wall. So this is gives that amazing flexibility yeah. that you that you can have with a smart projector that that it will be difficult with any other device in yeah. general. The, the roof thing is pretty funny because I was actually thinking about that in my bedroom. It's a very big bedroom and our yeah. bed is way away from the wall. And then the wall has a, two sliding doors. So there's not yeah. a lot of space between the two sliding doors to put a TV. So the biggest TV we can put in there is like a 52. And from far away, my phone, if I hold my phone like this, this screen yeah. looks bigger than what I have up there. So we yeah. have this TV up on the wall. Nobody uses it. And I was looking at this and I was like, you know, when I'm laying in my bed, I can just shoot this guy straight up and, yeah. and this way straight back and have a bigger image right above my head. Yeah. And I don't have to worry about running a video signal to it. I don't even have to plug it in. So yeah. there's a lot of cool flexibility with this, yeah. with this projector. So the Halo yeah. is a really cool piece. I mean, if you think about it, um, the brightness, the battery power, it auto focuses. So, so when you talk about ease of setup, um, yeah. you, you don't have to worry about trying to get it in focus. It auto focuses. Google Assistant, so you can talk to it. Android TV, good sound system, HD resolution. I mean, the list goes on and on. It's a really cool piece. Now, and that's yeah. why I wanted to review it. That's why we wanted to review yeah. it. Now, this piece retails for how much in the U.S.? Um, yeah, the, so the, this product retails for uh, seven uh, sixty nine. Yeah, and, and, and uh, I was yeah. I was actually looking at other projectors that it competes against, and they are actually trying to charge more um, for a less bright. I've done some. That's another reason why I brought it in. We've done a several um, small portables, and um, yeah. and none of them. A lot of them actually cost more than this one that doesn't have this this type of capability. So so it's a really really cool value. Yes, yes. So actually, uh, one thing that you mentioned are uh, the brightness and this. Uh, we, I think, I think uh, the, it's important to mention that this, uh, the brightness that we we provide in all of our products and all our specifications, specifications in ANSI lumens. So mm -hmm. we make sure that the brightness we are giving to the customer, the brightness that they are seeing in the screen, mm -hmm. and not the brightness that is coming from the from the LED. So it's it gives you much like a, a better idea of what's the real reality of the brightness that you are gonna yeah. that you are streaming. Yeah. I'm glad but, you brought that up. That is that yeah. is a pet peeve of mine. A lot of yeah. times when you when you see a LED based um, projector, they give it to you in LED lumens, or they give it to yeah. you in um, lux and all these things that are useless. Yeah. Anti lumens yeah. is the standard on which a projector should be measured. It allows you to compare apples to apples. So the fact that it's 800 ANSI lumens means this sucker is bright for a little yeah. projector. 
That's a yeah, lot that's of brightness right. coming from a little itty bitty box. Today, you're here to talk about some new products because um, you're expanding your lineup. You guys have a lot of these cool, portable, smart solutions, but now you yeah. have something for someone who's looking for, for more. So let's talk about the new model, which is called the Horizon. So why don't you yeah. talk a little bit about this model? I think you have it in front of you, correct? Yeah. So so this is uh, this is the Jimmy Horizon. So as you mentioned, we've been in the um, in the portable projector market for a while already. But mm -hmm. actually, in in the Chinese market, uh, we have all sort kind of projectors from from laser TVs uh, down to the smallest uh, portable projector that you could that you could find in the market. But mm -hmm. uh, we. We decided this year to come with um, one of the most powerful uh, products we have created yet. So that one is the, the Xjimi Horizon. Mm -hmm. The Horizon comes in two versions. It's a, a 4K version and a 1080p version. All of uh, all these projectors, and I will gonna talk about a little bit later, um, the, the core feature that we build in into all of our projectors, basically, which is around the ease of use, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but I will start a little bit to talk about the picture quality um, and some of the characteristics that, that make this projector for, mm -hmm. for, for a size like this so, so powerful. And cosmetically, it's, yeah. it's another beautifully designed, beautifully designed piece. Does this have a ceiling mount capability or is it more designed to go like on a table? So all, all our projectors, they have the ceiling mounting capabilities. You can still mount them uh, in the ceiling. Uh, mm -hmm. You, of course, need some uh, special adapters or the... Um, like, a, like a projector and, uh, mount kind of thing, but you can yeah, do it if you want to. Yeah. yeah, if you want to. But, but the idea with the projectors we make is exactly the opposite of that. So mm -hmm. we are aiming to avoid at all costs the need for any kind of installation. So that's mm -hmm. our main goal, right? Mm -hmm. The projector can be can be put in a, a in any table in a floor mounting. If, so it's a, it's it's very versatile in that way that you can just place it almost at anywhere. Um, I asked you this question about this projector, and then I thought about it and said, you know what? There's a million types of projectors. That's a traditional thought process. And one of the things that intimidates people about projectors is the whole concept of a big block box hanging from the ceiling and running yeah. wires to it and things like that. The fact that it can be quickly set up on a um, a table or in the back of the room firing at a screen on a bookshelf makes it a lot more approachable to yeah. to those who are not looking for a traditional projector and that type of form factor okay That's right. so give me some details about this guy because i am very very curious both as i mentioned to you both the horizon pro and the horizon they have exactly the same uh, characteristic the only difference uh, the only actual difference between both of these models is the resolution so mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna talk about the 4K. It, it has exactly the same future with the 1080p. So this is a projector that it comes as a yeah, true 4K projector. So the so basically the um, uh, Xjimi Horizon it comes with uh, a, a 2200 uh, ANSI Lumen brightness. Okay, mm -hmm. so let's start from there. It's a really bright projector for the size of the for the size of this device. Mm -hmm. uh, we have worked very hard into build into building it this this kind of power into into so, such a little device. This this comes also with uh, a lot of Xjimi uh, proprietary technology on a picture quality enhancement. Uh, our picture quality enhancement is basically uh, is called Xview. It's mm -hmm. basically a combination of a few uh, different techniques. First of all, uh, we use MEMC to improve uh, the the motion enhancement. The second thing we do is that uh, we have also a technology integrated with the projector that enhances the color quality and the picture quality at the same time. So mm -hmm. what you're getting at the end is not just regular 4K, it's not just a very bright projector, but it's a projector that is a smart and intelligently um, enhancing the picture according to what you are watching in, in, the, in, your, in your projector. Another thing is um, even the Halo supports HDR. Um, and this model supports HDR as well, correct? 
Yeah, that's right. So we support HDR10 with this, uh, with the Horizon and the Horizon Pro. This give us much, uh, much better clarity into into the picture and the quality of the video that is played. So we believe that this is uh, this is really a product that can give uh, that sweet point on the on the home theater viewer. LED light sources do a really good job um, delivering vivid colors, and HDR allows you to feed it a very good signal. And of course, it, it probably has a lot of the core um, features that we've talked about with other XGME projectors. So I'm sure it's smart. Is it so? Yeah. I'm sure it has Android. Um, yeah. Autofocus probably has the autofocus yes. capability. I noticed that there's a Harman Kardon logo on it. So that means yeah. that it also has a very good sound system also incorporated in it as well. Is it a bigger sound system than what's incorporated in the in something like a halo? Yes, yes, it's way bigger. So this this comes with actually two speakers, one on each side, uh, each of them giving an eight watts power. So mm -hmm. you could use this perfectly as your all-in-one uh, projection device for a home theater setup, for example. Yeah, so that's a lot bigger than what you would find in a TV. It's gonna sound a lot better. Does it have any kind of capabilities with surround sound or can it decode surround sound? So this is not just a, like a beautiful Harman Kardon uh, speakers, but mm -hmm. it decodes uh, Dolby Atmos and DTS Studio Sound. So this will give, uh, give the, the user a really immersive experience. The whole goal of this is to watch movies. So you want that's big right. movies with big sound. So that's kind of that's right, yeah. Okay, so better sound. It's brighter. It's 4K, yeah. your proprietary video enhancement technologies, a cool looking design. And the main feature of this is that uh, we uh, we believe and we are sure that this is uh, one of the smartest, most, most easy to use projector in the market. So mm -hmm. we say that because it comes with um, a set of technologies again. So the first one is, as you mentioned, out of focus. So mm -hmm. all of our projectors come with our focus, but this one is uh, way ahead of the curve in, in terms of the efficiency that it gives and the speed at what the autofocus work with. The second one is the auto keystone correction. We believe that we have the best auto keystone correction in the market right now. Um, auto, auto keystone correction is not only vertical, but horizontal. So there is, you, you don't have to almost touch the projector at all. The projector will find uh, the right aspect ratio, almost any angle that, that you place it at. So this is, uh, we go back to why we believe um, we are making the projectors for the home user. It's because mm -hmm. all homes are made different. So homes are not the same as the as offices, that they all have a meeting room and you just place a projector in, in, in a set space and you never move it from there, right? Mm -hmm. I'm sure you know that you've been working with projectors for a long time, seldomly, mm -hmm. Anyone have a perfect place to, to put a projector in, in a living room or in your home, right? You either have to put it on the side, not everyone have a big living room to put it like way on the back. What we are doing with this is that we, uh, we give the user all the uh, flexibility that it needs to put the projector at any angle it wants. So, so if you if you just if you can just put it in your bedside, for example, just place it in your bedside and the projector will still give you a perfect aspect ratio in front of you. And then uh, at the at the same time that this is happening, so that once you turn on the projector, it has a very fast boot. So it works almost like a TV. In in a matter of of 10 seconds, uh, 10 to 12 seconds, you have a perfect screen uh, in front of you. And what is happening since you press the press the power button is, is that the auto keystone, is that the auto focus, but it mm -hmm. also, if you have a projection mm -hmm. screen, it will find the projection screen by itself. So we mm -hmm. do this by training the projector with AI technology. It's trained, we have trained the projector by thousands and thousands of hours of different kind of screens, and it will find mm -hmm. the screens and feed the screen perfectly there. But more amazing than that is that the same AI technology can find and match any wall and avoid mm -hmm. any obstacles that are in the wall. So if you have a power switch or if you have a painting in your wall, it mm -hmm. will find the perfect space to place to place a clean <laughs> square into in the wall. So, so this is this is why why we believe that this is so far them that, the, that is unique. Yeah. I haven't heard that one before. That yeah. one's kind of cool. 
Um, yeah. So it, it's, a, it's a really, really cool piece. Now, is this also still an LED or is this a laser-based light source? It's still LED. So this one is still LED projector, DLP technology. Um, we, we Our components come from uh, Texas Instruments. So mm -hmm. so it's a, it's a very advanced, advanced piece of machine. Before, when you were getting past 1,000 ANSI lumens, you would a lot of times you would go from LED to laser, but now there's new um, LED light engines that actually can can reach these higher brightnesses of like like yeah. like, like we guys are at over 2,000 and and still deliver a very 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 good picture and they're yeah. very efficient and everything else. So you're still talking 30 probably 30,000 hours of life. So virtually maintenance free, easy to set up, virtually maintenance free built-in speakers, smart capabilities, and everything else. So the main difference between the Horizon Pro and the yep. Horizon is going to be the resolution. One is an, yeah. a 1080p DLP, and the other one is a 4K DLP, right? Yeah, that's right. So let me uh, talk about a little bit of the system. This runs also in, with Android TV. Uh -huh. as that, uh, all of our projectors. So you basically get universal connectivity with this. So you have the Android TV system. It has HDMI ports, uh, USB ports, an optical port, um, LAN, a LAN port. So you could uh, connect virtually anything in here. Mm -hmm. So um, it's it's a, it's a really um, a device that can replace any any large TV uh, in your home. Yeah. Okay. So, so when is it when is it shipping? When is the unit um, going to be available for purchase? So we are starting pre-order in May, uh, about mm -hmm. May 10 to 15, uh, mm -hmm. and we are uh, we are going to start to ship ship end of May, and the product is going to be launched to the all marketplaces and uh, the different retailers that work with us uh, mm -hmm. about uh, June 20. So of course, Andreas is going to send me one. So I can actually yeah. play with it, right? Exactly. Yeah, yeah, for I'm sure. I'm looking, I'm looking forward to 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 utilizing it and playing with it. So, so do you have a um a projected price for the pro and a price for the standard unit in the U.S.? Yeah. So the standard unit, the full HD, is gonna run a thousand and ninety nine dollars, mm and -hmm. the uh, Horizon Pro, the 4K version, is is going for one thousand six hundred ninety nine. So very good, sixteen hundred bucks for the for, for the twenty two hundred lumen LED smart four K um, yeah. projector. So that that is very 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 competitive. And like I said, the style and form factor, it's a very nice looking piece. So Andreas, thank you for coming and spending some time with me to go over some of the cool products that are available from Xjimi. The Halo, I think, is really cool. Um, stand by, that review would be up after you see this video and then yeah. as soon as i get the horizon pro i will let you know what i think so thank Perfect. you for coming um and take care everyone and we will talk to you soon